Afternoon, detective. Afternoon, chief. So what did you want to speak to me about? Well, I've thought of a new case, and um, I've just wanted to run it by you. How many times have you said that to me in the past few years and have ended up with nothing? I know what you're getting at, Chief. But with this case, I'm really confident that I can crack it. <sighs> well, Robert, let's hear it. Well, every Halloween since 2011, there's been murders on that night, without fail. Also, within the year of 2011, May specifically, a character by the name of the Man in the Mask went missing. It hasn't been seen since then. Now, what's the connection? What's the, uh, what's, the, what's the connection between these two? Well, if what I think is happening is happening, then the Man in the Mask is the culprit behind this. He already has murderous tendencies. He's already been known to be cannibalistic and murderous. Remember that guy with the sunglasses that we found earlier in 2011? That was done by the man in the mask, but he got away. And the murder victims every Halloween have had similar murdering. They've been murdered in a similar way, sorry, to how the man in the mask commits his murders. Now, I know there's no hard evidence to suggest that, but you know, I think it's worth looking at. That does sound interesting, Detective, but it also sounds like a bit of a stretch. A stretch? How so? Well, uh, how can you link up the Halloween murders with this masked man? I told you, the man in a mask is already a known killer. He was last seen in May 2011. Five months later, the Halloween murders start happening in very similar ways to how the mask, man in the mask commits murders. I guess, but there's just no hard facts to back up your allegations. Look, on the surface, I know it seems like I'm making a case on a whim, but I've got this feeling about this. A feeling similar to the Purple Mouse case back in 2013, and you damn well know how well I solved that case. Listen, I've still got my reservations, but I also still trust your judgement, even if the higher-ups say otherwise. I'll allow the case to go forward. Thanks, Chief. I really appreciate your confidence. Ah, d don't worry about it. Just keep me in the loop with the investigation. Will do, Chief. Be sure to email me your research, okay? Just so I can justify this to the higher-ups. I'll be sure to do that when I get back home. Right. I need to get back to the office. Good luck with the investigation, detective. You must be Stephen. Come on in, come on in. Would you like a drink or anything? No, thank you. Okay. So, um, you wouldn't want a drink, would you? No, no, thank okay, you. Okay, right. Drink. So, you must be wondering why I contacted you. Yeah, I am. Yeah. So, um, you, my name is Detective Robert Black. I'm part of the PTPD. Right, I'm an in invest investigator. I'm going to be investigated. A, a series of murders. Uh, are you familiar with the, the Halloween murders that have been happening since 2011? I am, yes. Yes. Well, I have sources to believe that they are linked with a guy called the Man in the Mask. A mysterious figure. He disappeared in the summer of 2011. And then, since then, the murders have been happening every Halloween night. And that's where you come in, Stephen. You see... I've always liked the idea of having a filmmaker of some sort follow me within an investigation. And to me, this is the first big case that I've had in a very, very long time, Stephen. It's, it's been, it's been, it's been a very long time. But this case 
I mean, I know it's, it's invigorated something else in me. It reminded me exactly why I joined the police force to begin with. And I want that to be documented. And saw your name in the paper and you were uh, freelancing and all that. So, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought, um, I thought you were, you were, you were the man for the job, Stephen. So, uh, what, what's some of your credentials then? Like, what's, have you got any qualifications? Any, uh, things that you've done that I might be familiar with? Uh, I've done, I've done film, obviously. I've done films before. Um, I've done Blade Runner 2049. I was Never. One the, I was one of the, uh... Never. I was one of the camera guys on that one. Oh, that was a, I was a... That was a heckin' great looking film that oh, was, yeah. Stephen, I tell you now. Oh, right. I'll catch up on what I'm doing in this investigation, Stephen. Within my research, I found out the man in the mask once had a next door neighbour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of many people know the man in the mask personally, except this one fella. He's a pirate! Pirate? But no. In, in, in this town? My thoughts exactly, Stephen. A pirate. Alfredo. He's a captain and all. Oh. And. I, 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 I know. Yeah. I, and. I found his number, so I was thinking that would be the best place to start. Because he might know where the man in the mask is, he might still have contact. With the man in the mask, for all I know. So, uh, I was thinking I'm I was going to uh, give him a phone call. I was thinking you could, you could, uh, with your, with your, with your uh, camera there, you could record me on the phone with the pirate. Oh yes. And uh, hopefully we'll get an interview, and you can film that interview as well. So that's wow. the relationship that we should be having, Stephen. Are you sure you don't want to drink? It feels wow. weird not having, not toasting this friend, not toasting this soon to be beautiful friendship between us, Stephen. I'm, I'm sure I don't want to drink. Yeah, at least hold the bottle so I can cheers you. <laughs> cheers to a wonderful investigation, Stephen, and catching that son of a gun, the man in the mask. Why are you recording, Stephen? I'm recording. Right, so I'm going to be I'm going to be attempting to phone Captain Alfredo, the man of the mask's phone next door neighbour. While I'm doing that, Stephen, do you mind phone me up again? You phone you up? The whiskey! I want you to one in, like, mate. What you feel's enough, Stephen. What you feel's enough, I, I get trust your you judgment. You know. Right. The number, uh... Is this, is this Alfredo? Captain Alfredo, I'm sorry. Yes, this is Captain Alfredo. Hello there, Alfredo. This is Detective Robert Black uh, from the PTPD. Um, I am currently uh, undergoing an investigation involving the man in the mask and I've been made to believe that you have uh, have been an acquaintance with him at some point. Yes, I'll I'll uh, I'll wait until you uh until you can get in some shelter there. You can't hear me. What surprise? He's probably in the North Sea or something. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I'm still here. I'm still. I'm still here, Captain. Which bit do you need me to repeat? I'm Detective Robert. You got that bit. I'm currently investigating the man in the ma yes, the man in the mask. You know him, and um, I I I'm aware that you were yes, you were neighbor. Okay, yeah, you heard that bit as well. So you heard everything I said to you. Um, I just uh, I want to do an interview with you if that's okay. Involving the ma yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 
I want to do an interview with you, Captain, regarding the man in the mask. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, just so you know, Captain, I, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a documentarian filmmaker uh, accompanying me. His name's Stephen, and uh, I just want to know if uh, I have your permission to, uh, for you to be on camera. No, it's it's not for a it's not for a major motion picture. No, it's. Oh, were you in a film once? Oz, I, look, Captain, listen. Are you? Yeah, okay. Um, is tomorrow okay? Eleven o two. That's very specific, Captain. But I can. Yeah, I can do that. Eleven o two. Uh. A.M., I assume, yeah, okay. Whereabouts would you like to be to meet, Captain? On the beach. Which beach? The beach, okay. Okay, then, yeah, I'll, I'll see you there, Captain. Thank you for taking this time. I very much so appreciate this. Okay, I'll let you get back to that then. Okay, goodbye. Funny bugger him, like. We got an interview, Stephen! Yes! Yes, man. Yes! Go on, yes. You can, you can cut now, Stephen. I'm... No! 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 Wait! Wait! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, Stephen! <sighs> Sorry about that. What time is it? Have you got. Oh, we should realistically meet Alfredo. Come on. Mind the poop, Stephen? Things are here. Yesterday, right? Okay, I'm just gonna set the microphone. Wait, do you have any specific spot you'd rather stand or? Okay, you're still you're still fine with us filming. Yeah, yeah. That's Stephen, by the way. Hi, Stephen. Great to meet you, Stephen. 
Hello there, I am Detective Robert Black from the PTPD. I am currently investigating the case of the man in the mask possibly being linked to the Halloween murders starting since 2011. I'm being joined here by Captain Alfredo. Uh, he was a neighbour of the man in the mask. And so, um, Alfredo, do you mind just telling me what you uh, remember about the man in the mask? Well, as far as I remember, he was... He was a bit of a character. He was quite grumpy all the time. I think he was a borderline alcoholic, to be honest. The way, uh, way he visited that pub one time. Um, right. Um, do you remember when you first so- met the man in the mask? When I first met the man in the mask? Yes, yes. Th- when you first met the man in the mask. Oh, damn. <laughs> and I think it was the bar. I think. You think? Do you remember which bar it was? Oh, God knows, mate. It was, like, a long time ago, so okay. I don't know. It might, be, it might not be there no more. I don't know. Do you remember what it looked like? Oh, yeah, I remember what it looked like. It had, like, uh, green wallpaper and stuff on it. Right. The table. Right, OK. Um, were you aware that the man in a mask had murderous tendencies? Or was I aware, sorry? Yes, were you aware that the man in the mask had murderous tendencies? Well, I don't know, to be honest. He was quite of a character, so... Um, he had violent... I would say... It, it, would, it wouldn't surprise me, but it's, it's, it's one of them characters, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably not surprised by that, to be honest. When was the last time you saw the man in the mask? Last time I saw the man in the mask, um... I think we went on a trip together, uh, far away. Um, where, where, where did you go, Alfredo? Went to uh, Jamaica, my own town. You're from Jamaica. I am from Jamaica, yes. And I've got a bit of a, I've got a bit of a British accent, but I guess, I guess that's what you can call it. Um, yeah. Do you? Have you? Have you? Have you? When? When would have that trip been? When would have the last time you would have saw him? Like time frame wise, when? Like. Yeah, month, oh, what? Uh, probably about two years, to be honest. Two years. Yeah, two years. Two years. Okay. Um, do, have you spoken to him recently? I haven't, no. Would you have no idea where he would be? I don't think so. Do you have any possible connections to anyone that he that might have that he might have known? Um. Maybe, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, there, was, there was a guy who served us that day in my bar. Right. It does does that, Did he have any friends? Who? Um, the man in the mask. The man in the mask. Well, I don't think so. He was that type of character, so... Right. Um, do you have any more, like, information involving the man in the mask? Anything that uh, might come of use to the PTPD? He's a bit psychotic. That's all you really need to know. He's a bit psychotic, right? Yeah. Uh, it's good thing I, a uh, good thing I found that out then. Um, no, no, especially when I'm investigating a murderer's case, you know. Yeah. Um, thank you, Captain, for your time no and uh, uh, enjoy the sea. Oh no, uh, I'm out soon. Good, way. good. Okay. See nice ya. to know. See ya. I don't, I don't believe it! I don't be- Shut the door, Stephen! I don't believe it! That was the only lead I had! The only lead! The only lead I had was a goddamn stupid pirate who knew nothing! He knew nothing! That was the only connection I had to the man in the mask! The only goddamn connection!
and I've researched and researched for months. You've seen my research, Stephen, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. And the only person, one person, who was a connection to the man in the mask was a pirate who knew nothing. I don't even know where I'm going to begin. I don't know where I'm going to have to start again. Damn, I need a drink. The goddamn telephone! Who is it? What? Hello, Chief. Um. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I can meet you at the canteen in uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, so... yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes should be fine. Mm hmm. Yeah, I am my interview with the pirate. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Okay, see you in 10 minutes. Okay. Turn off the goddamn camera, Stephen! Hello, Chief. You want to, uh, you want to see me? Yeah, I did. Take a seat. So, um... What's it this time? Is it ham? No. Tuna. Oh. Tuna, right? Do you like tuna? No, no, I don't. I'm... I'm vegetarian, Chief. Ah! You're still doing that, are you? Yeah, yeah, Chief, I'm still doing that, you know. Been doing it for the past 15 years, you know. So yeah, I'm still I'm still doing it. Well, we're not here to talk about my lunch. We're here to talk about your case. So we are, Chief, so we are. So, what's the progression? You interviewed this pirate? Yes, uh, I interviewed a pirate. His name was uh, Captain Alfredo. His link to the man in the mask is that he, uh... He was the man of the mask's next door neighbor. To be quite frank, he really seemed to be his only friend. Right, so how did your interview go? Um. To be quite perfectly honest, uh, it didn't go. It didn't go that well. Um. Have you been drinking today? What? No, 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 I. No, not today. I ain't been drinking today. No. Why would you ask that question? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, yeah, to be, to be quite perfectly honest, um, I didn't get much information from Captain Alfredo, the, the pirate, he, uh, he just kind of, he just kind of battled on, really, and, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really get any, any more progress within the investigation. Hmm. Have you got another lead, though? Um, no, no, I don't, Chief. I don't have another lead. Uh, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna keep cracking on with it. I'm gonna keep researching because surely, you know, surely there's like, you know, he has to, he has to have another lead. There has to be another connection to the man in the mask. No one has zero connections. There's no one in the history of crime who has ever been connectionless. It was Jack the Ripper. Yeah, but... You know what the difference is, though? I wasn't investigating Jack the Ripper, Chief. You know fine well, if I was back in those days, I would have caught Jack the Ripper, and he would have been in jail, and he would have just been another murderer from the Victorian era. You know that! You know I could have caught him. And you know what, Chief? I don't like your, you know, this doubt in your voice. I don't like that. You know what? You, ever since I've suggested this case to you, you've always had doubt. You don't believe I can solve this case. What have I ever, ever disappointed you? Your past few cases haven't been the best, though. Yeah, well... You know, I've, I've, come, I've come across hard times, you know that, but 
you know, I wasn't, I wasn't passionate about those cases. I'm, I'm passionate about this one. Right, enough babbling on. I've got something to say about your case. Oh, what have you got to say about my case, Chief? What I've got to say is if you don't come up with another lead in the next three days, then I'm closing this case. Wait, what? What do you mean? Why would you close this case? Because it's a dead end case. It was a dead end from the start. The only reason why I allowed you to conduct it is because we're having a slow month and it gives you something to do. So let me get this straight. I have to find another lead in the next three days or you're just going to close the case. That's exactly what I'm saying, detective. You think you can do that? Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I can do that, Chief. Yeah, I can do that. And you know I can. You've known me for 10 years, Chief. You know fine well I can do this. Good. So we understand each other. Yeah, yeah, we understand each other. Good. Now get out of here so I can finish my lunch. Fine, I'll leave. I've got, I've got a case to get to anyway. Enjoy your tuna sandwich. Enjoy your dead fish, Sarni. Ah, oh, there's Steven. Hey. Filming? Yeah, I'm filming. I'm always filming. Because you never know what you get on camera. Of course you are, Stephen. Come on in. Shut the door. Take a seat, Stephen. Do you want a drink? Uh, no, thank you. you. Sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Trains go by, Stephen. They come and go. Yes. I wish cases were the same. No, they do come and go, Steve, and they come, but then they get stopped. And sometimes the stop is done by another man. Not even a man that you're trying to stop, just a man that is meant to be in your team, but stops you from getting anywhere. And then the train goes off the rails, Steve, and then you cause a mass genocide of so many people. And in the meanwhile, there's also a pirate there who gives you absolutely nothing. And then the person who's responsible for taking the train off the rails, Stephen, tells you that if you, don't, if, I, if you don't find another lead in the next three days, then the train will never go again. Stopping the train in completely. Do you, do, you, do you understand what I mean, Stephen? I totally understand what do you mean. Do you? Yeah. I'm very surprised about that, Stephen. How are you surprised? It's not important, Stephen. It's not important. I thought I had it, Stephen. Yep. I thought I could have had it with the pirate. I don't know. Like, what? What did he give us, Stephen? Absolutely nothing. What did he give us? We visit. We saw him in the beach. It's. It's bloody autumn, for Christ's sake. We should be out in a park or something in the leaves. Why are we out looking at the beach? He's well, a, he's a pirate, he's isn't he? He's a pirate, I know. We met him up at the beach, and then here he is. Here he is, Stephen. Saying, I'm from Jamaica. Is he balls, Stephen? Is he balls from Jamaica? Did you see him? Yeah, he didn't have any accent, did he? No, not at all, Jamaican, my arsehole. Don't believe it. I'm sorry, Stephen, about that. Sorry for the language. No, <sighs> went to Jamaica two years. You know what? I researched that trip. No Jamaica trip at all. He's lying. Or well, he's just forgetful. That's probably it. He probably is forgetful, to be honest. Two years ago on Jamaica trip, I went to. No, you didn't. And then he's like, oh, I met him at a bar. I met him at a bar. Oh, I had a few drinks at a pub. We did. Hang on. Stephen. You went to a pub with the man and the mask. Yeah. Into the pub. Went to a pub. There was a barman. He said there was a barman, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe I can track down the barman. 
and we can get an interview of him. Maybe he knows more. It's another lead, isn't it, though, Stephen? Yeah, yeah. It's another lead. That, who knows? It might lead us to somewhere else that the man in the mask might be hiding somewhere in, like, in a bin or something. I don't know. Which, which bar did he say? Which bar did he... Oh, he couldn't remember, could he? He said there was one with green wallpaper. Would you know where that is, Stephen? I won't have a clue, mate. It could be anywhere. I was out of town in 2011, so I don't even know where... Uh, I, don't, I don't tend to go to bars, Stephen. Not anymore, at least. I buy me alcohol for home. I guess I'm just going to have to phone every pub. I'm going to have to phone every pub, Stephen. Stephen, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Stephen. Meet... Meet me tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow, Stephen. I'm going to get calling, okay? Where's the phone? Okay, Stephen? Right, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? No I'll, problem. I'll get... I'll get... Okay, right. Thank you so much for visiting, Stephen. I'll... No problem. The, the hourglass, that was it. Okay, that might be one. Hello, yeah, this is Detective Robert Black from the PTPD. I'm currently investigating the Halloween murders with a possible link to the man in the mask. Okay. Thank you for your time. No, yeah, you've been great health. See ya. Hello there. <clears throat> Hello. Hello there. I, I'm Detective Robert Black from the P2PD. And uh, I'm calling because I uh, may sound like a daft question. Would any of your staff members have served uh, within the summer of 2011 served a pirate and a man in the mask? Wait. Wait, that, that was you? You served them? Oh, great, great. Um, yes, um, yes, uh, I'm, I'm currently doing an investigation involving the man in the mask. Um, and uh, the, the timing of him being in the bar, in the pub, is quite important to my investigation. Um, and so you, you, you served them. Okay, great. Um, do you, what's your name? Michael Tushandi, of, of course, that's your name. Um, great. Do, would you be able to do an interview with me? Excellent, excellent. Are you... Uh, when's, when's best for you? Are you free tomorrow? Tomorrow lunchtime. Fantastic. Great. Th thank you. Thank, thank you so much. You don't realise how important this is to me. Uh, sorry, I'll try to still be professional. Th thank you, Mr. Tishandi. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow at, tomorrow at uh, half twelve. Great. Thank you very much. Yes. How about that for your next lead, Chief Cobb? Ha 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 
For a second, Stephen, please. Hold it, please. I got it. Great stuff. I don't know what to expect from this, like Stephen. But it's a lead, though. Oh, yeah. Do you have the time, is it? I should really get a watch. How are you feeling? I'm not too bad, thanks. I mean, about the case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the case, man. Yeah, well, well, a good stuff, Stephen. Oh, there he is. There he is, Stephen. Michael, Mr. Tushandi. Yes, Mr. Tushandi. Hello, Detective Robert Black here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you too, Michael. This is Stephen. You're still fine with being. Hi, you're still fine with being recorded. I'm totally fine. Great stuff. We'll stand here. Just come on, come on, Stephen. Come on. You're not Stephen. You're Michael. Sorry, it's it's been a long case. It's been a long case. <clears throat> Hello, there. I am Detective Robert Black from the PTPD investigating the man in the mask case, which with possible links to the Halloween murders. I'm being joined with. Michael Tashandi, he is the main barman in uh, the wharf. And uh, about seven years ago, you served the man in the mask as well as the pirates. Yes. Uh, could you tell me what you remember about that day? Well, uh, um, it was a long time ago, seven years ago. I, I know. Um, what what was it? Uh, what do you remember? What they looked like? Well, uh, this guy had a mask on, uh, and obviously there was a captain there as well. Uh, do, you, do you remember what they ordered? Oh, uh, it was two two shandy. It was two shandies. Uh, Anything else? I not as above where they were very drunk. I know that. Right. Um... Did you see the man in the mask at any other point? I don't, I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it was a bit of a character, you know. No, a bit of a character. I've been hearing that for a, from a lot of people, oh, yes. Michael. Um, do you have any other like possible leads to, uh, to the man in the mask, maybe, or possibly involving the Halloween murders? Hey. <laughs> there was this one guy, Captain Alfredo. <laughs> I know him, I know him. Uh, but I, I think that was about it. It was only two people at the back, Captain Alfredo, Man of the Basket, and myself. That makes three. Um, <laughs> well, never mind. Have you got anything else to say about... Them? Have you got any other information to give to the PTPD about uh, the Man of the Mask? I, I'll just say, be very careful. Be very careful, okay. Very careful. <sighs> anything else? Um, I, hope, I hope you cut the case, that's what I'm saying. Thank you, thank you. Um, you best be getting back to uh, yeah, to yeah, work. Your boss will be wondering where I am. Okay, thank you, Michael. Nice yeah. to be, yes, nice to meet see you. you. See, see you. you. I need a walk. I need a walk, Stephen. <laughs> Turn it off! Cut! Cut, Stephen!
afternoon, Chief. Are you all right? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, what, well, what? Well, you called me in to see you. Are you going grey? No, no. Uh, look, that's not important. You called me in to see you. What is it you want want to see me about? Last night you told me you had a lead. Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, I, uh, I got a lead. It was a. Uh, it was the barman who served the pirate and the man in the mask in the summer of 2011. Have you talked to him yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah, I interviewed him about uh, a few hours ago now. And did you get anywhere with him? No. No, I didn't, Chief. I didn't. I, uh, I didn't get anywhere with Mr. Tushandi. So, um, have you got any other leads, though? No. No, I don't, Chief. He was the only one. The only one. And, uh, I haven't got any other connections. So, you got no other traces to lead you back to the man in the mask? No, not at this moment in time. However, Chief, no, 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 st stop there. Do you remember what I said, Detective? Um, you see a lot of things, Chief, so it's quite hard to remember everything you say. Uh, so you're gonna probably have to refresh my mind. I said, if you don't come up with another lead in the next three days, then I'm closing the case. Right, you did say that, and I did come up with another lead, and it was Michael Tushandi, the barman. I just told you about him. Right, and you told me you got no other leads. You got no other place to go. You can't go anywhere else with this case. So, you know what, detective? Before you say anything else, Chief, I need to tell you that I'm still working really, really hard on trying to... The case is closed, detective! And let me just... Sorry, Chief. Uh, I think I've got some in my ear. Uh, I had a bit of a walk, I'm not sure if you know. Some sand got in my ear there. Uh, it sounded like you just sh shouted at me that you were closing the case. Cause I am! Listen, listen, you, no, 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 you can't, you can't do it. You can't do that, Chief. Yeah, I can, because I just did. Listen, Chief, you may, listen. I know it doesn't seem great right now. I know the pirate didn't work out. I know the barman didn't work out. I know it doesn't look like I've got any more leads, but I'm, I can, I, I've got this good, I've got this feeling right here, Chief. I know that I, I'm gonna come to a revolution, a revelation, should I say, at some point, I don't give a damn about your gut feelings. All I give a damn about is the facts. And the fact of the matter is, that you have got no other leads. It's a dead end. Case closed. But, but let me just, let me just, no, no, that's the last of it. So, so that's it, that's it. Months work, just down the drain. Is that it, case closed? Is that me done now with this case? It is detective. Listen. Robert, you're a good detective. I know you haven't been having the best cases recently, but... No, 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 don't, don't even go there, Chief. Don't even go there. I know that I haven't been great in the past few years. I know that. I don't need you to tell me about my mistakes. You of all people, you. All you do is just sit there eating your goddamn pretzels. It's all you do. You sit on your backside and you eat. You sit in the canteen 
You don't even go up in your office anymore, Chief. How am I meant to take you seriously? And how am I meant to sit here and let you lecture me about a case I've worked months, months on? And all you do is just decide that a case is closed. Who are you? Who are you to say that? You know, I'm done. I'm done with this. I don't need this. I don't need you. I need my job. But I don't need you right now. If you need me, you know my number, Chief. I need a drink. No. No, no, again. I don't want you here! God's sake. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The field. The field's where all the murders happen. Every year. I know where he is. I know where he is. Oh, thank God. Stephen, listen, uh, it's me, you know, you know, me, it's Detective Robert Black, yes, okay, I, it, actually I don't know what time it is, uh, listen, I've got a great, great hunch, meet me tomorrow morning at the field, you know, you know, the field, the, the murder field, okay, see you tomorrow, okay, bye. As a recording, Stephen, great stuff. I'll just sync the mic up. Top. Chief, thank you for joining me this morning. What did you bring me out here for now, Detective? I found him, Chief. I found him. He's here. Who's here? The man in the mask. He's here. I know for a fact he is. Look, I'm sick of hearing his name. I closed the case. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. I've been hooked here at the crack of dawn, searching every year. This is where the Halloween murders take place, every year. So the man in the mask must be lurking here. I know fine well he must be, okay? So I've been searching and I know where he is. I know where he is, Chief. You thank this. Follow me, Stephen, come on. Come on, I know where, he should be over here. There he is, there you are. I've got you, I've finally got you. Oh, get up. Get up! Get up! Come on! You're under arrest! You're what under are you arrest. doing? Get off You're him, under detective! Arrest. What? No, Chief, I've got it! Seriously, it's him! Get off him! He's an innocent Still. man! He's done nothing wrong! Get off what? him! No! Chief, I had him! Chief! That was him! That was him! That's it! I've had enough of this! You are suspended indefinitely! What? No, you can't suspend me! No! No more words about it, Detective. Go home! I'm gonna go back to the office to do some actual work. Chief! Turn off the camera! Yeah, detective. I'm just, I'm just.
just, I'm just fine, Stephen. I'm peachy. It's not like I'm just being suspended or anything. What are you watching, Mike? Halloween 2. Why not Halloween 1? That's the best one. Because I've watched Halloween 1, Stephen. So I'm watching Halloween 2. And then after Halloween 2, I'm going to be watching Halloween 3. And Halloween 4. And Halloween 5. But not 6. Because that one was rubbish. <laughs> I had this. I had the steamer. I'm sure of it. Wait a minute. Hang on. Good idea, Stephen. We can bust them out of the mask in the act. We can go and we can catch them in the act. We don't need the permission of Chief Corn on the cob. We got this by ourselves. You've got your camera. I've got my intellectuality. I think that's how you say it. I've had a couple of these, Steve, tonight. This, this is... I've got the perfect idea. Stephen, get recording now. Right, Stephen, put this on. We're blending it. It'll be like we're trick or treaters. We're have you got your torch? I have, yes. Right, come on, let's get in the field and we're going to catch the man in the mask. Oh, come yes. on. Let's go. I think this is a spot. You this think? is it. This is it, Stephen. I think so. It's, been, it's always been here every year. If we hide here, if we hide here, come on. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go looking, okay Stephen? You stay here and I'll go and find some, okay? Okay, no problem. The stuff he makes me doing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Detective, is that you? Detective? Oh God, this is why I hate it. Detective? Is that you? Is that you, Detective? Couldn't find anything because you, Stephen. Stephen? Stephen? Stephen! God. Where's he gone? Stephen! Stephen, where are you? Wait. Wait a minute. God, no. No. Stephen! Detective. Chief. How are you holding up? I'm doing fine. Have you found anything? We found Stephen's body. Oh, God. Or what was left of it. 
Christ. Well, what about the man in the mask? Did you find any trace of him? That's what I came to talk to you about. I've had my team search the entirety of this field. And the only people we can find evidence of of being here in the last few hours is Stephen and you. What? And, and no one else? No one else, Detective. Well, that, that's ridiculous. Has your team looked everywhere? They've been looking everywhere. Well, clearly not very thoroughly. Get, get them to look again. They've investigated every possible area. But what about Stephen's camera? Have you looked back at the footage? There should be enough proof on there to identify him. The footage is currently under analysis. But so far, all that we can gather from the footage is that you and Stephen enter the field. You leave the, vi the visibility of the camera. Stephen is attacked. Stephen leaves the frame. You come back in the frame. And then Stephen is murdered. What are you getting out here, Chief? Surely you're not suggesting that I am the man in the mask. Well, Robert, you are a man. And you're wearing a mask. This is absurd. I am not a goddamn serial killer. I need to go. I need to go off and find the man that has ran off and committed these crimes since your team can't do their job correctly. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Robert. You're gonna have to come with me. I don't believe this, Chief. You can't arrest me. We're only bringing you into questioning, since you are a potential suspect.